All right, so now we're going to look at what it is to draw on a computer. Okay, think of it this way: you have a piece of, if, if you have a standard piece of paper in front of you, how do you make detail? You make detail with a sharper pencil, right? You can get as sharp as you want, like a point three mechanical pencil, which is pretty pretty sharp to to make detail, and that's that's awesome. I like the ability to go up and down with it with, uh, with the detail level based upon a sharp pencil but if you if you run out and it's like a sh it starts getting dull you have to go sharpen it um, how do you make color or a fade well you blend out your pencil and it creates a, a blending between the paper which is white and the actual pencil that is black all right here in digital land, we have one more thing that we can uh, we can do that we couldn't do on paper, and that is draw big, shrink small. You could do that in traditional terms, but what would happen is you would have to draw on a physical large sheet of paper, and then real time somehow be able to shrink it down to an eight and a half by eleven. Let's say you were drawing like a, a poster size, twenty four by thirty six and then somehow you were able to molecularly shrink it down to eight and a half by eleven. The drawing would look amazing because all the detail gets squished into a little tiny thumbnail. Let's go into new document. What I'm talking about is resolution. So in the advanced settings or options here we have the resolution set to 72. 72, a document, and it doesn't matter if it's black or white. Um, this is a very, it is a, a pretty low res. On the screen it looks nice. On print it doesn't look so nice. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to use one of these brushes. And I'm going to just kind of make a swoosh like that just like that and if we look really close at the swoosh we can see now pixels alright good now let's take a standard brush which is just maybe one of these shrink it all the way down and we'll take white and we'll draw only on the top side of a few of these maybe a couple of them zoom out suddenly you see detail because you zoomed in to draw and you zoomed out to see the detail alright now that might be you know a common thing you might know that already you know like that that might be something that you can wrap your head around but let's say we add some more resolution to the document. Let's go image. Let's go to scale image. Now, to add resolution means it will bisect the image size. So remember the image size, it's 8.5 by 11. Let's add 100 to this. Notice it takes and divides it by two. So let's go back up here and type in 8.5 by 11. Now I have doubled the resolution and kept the size. Let's scale it. It got physically bigger. It looks physically bigger on the screen, but it didn't change the size in print. It just added more pixels per inch. hit the space bar a couple times if you want to zoom in and out. So now let's uh, start adding some detail onto a couple more of these. You'll notice it's a lot slower. So what you want to do, what you want you think about is 
when you add detail to something, if you want to draw on a computer, to, to add detail, but then when you are ready, add the resolution so that your artwork looks amazing on the screen. So I can really get in here and make some pretty significant detail where I couldn't do that up here. Now you start seeing it when you zoom out. And you can keep doing this over and over. You can get so much detail, in fact, that whenever you zoom in on an object, you can probably see, you know, you can see things that you'll ne never even possibly imagine. But when you go to print this, you're not going to see that much detail. That's the rub. So, think about that when we go into our lessons about doing everything. Drawing on a computer. When we work with vector graphics, like in Inkscape, we don't have to worry about this. This thing called detail. Because detail happens um, at every scale because they're based upon vectors. Where well, this one is based upon pixels. Alright, so that's my brief lecture of detail. Where it really comes from. When you see something that zooms in and zooms out, don't say, hey, that's a big document. Is it a big document? Or is it just a more resolution document? You can always go to image size and you can always look. It's only 8.5 by 11. It's just I got more of it. Alright, let's move on to the next video.